Well, here we are, Cumberland Mountain State Park. at this site. This is site number 77. This is a handicap site. Not, not exactly level. Our back wheel is off the ground on, on passenger side. Front to back, perfect though. This site has something I've, we've not seen yet, which are hammock hangers right here in the campsite. Concrete picnic table, barbecue cooker and a fire ring and lots of space to park it is a full connection site there are a lot of full connection handicap sites in this park water electric 50 and 30 and we're only here for one night so we're just plugging in all right we're gonna take a little truck and Go see what this park is all about. It's, there again, these Tennessee parks are awfully hilly for Little Red. So I'm going to go get checked in and figure out what exactly how I'm going to present the Cumberland Mountain State Park to you. So let's go see some stuff. Well, it seems that Cumberland Mountain State Park has got some birds, a bird exhibit. Screech owl. I guess he's in the box. He's bedded down for the day. We have over here a barn owl. Ooh, there's a barn owl. I don't know if you can see it. The barn owl got a got a hurt wing. The great horned owl. Those are the ones that you hear at night. You see it? We have a red-tailed hawk. We see a lot of those in Texas. There's a lot of, a lot of spider webs on his cage. Don't get you close enough to see him. I'm sure all of these birds are injured. Let's see if we can get a little information about this one. No information about how they came to be here, but I'm sure they were rescued. And there he is. This is pretty cool though. We get to get a little, little zoo exhibit. Eastern screech owl. These are little, little ones. They're not very big at all. And then the barn owl. All right, so what do we know about this? Oh, there's stories. So let's read. Each, each one has their own story. So Henson was brought to a local rehabber after being found starved on the ground. Henson's rehabber suspected he had flown into a power line or fence. He lost the vision. Uh, let's see what I mean. He resulted in injury to his left leg and the loss of vision in his left eye. Henson is the is the red-tailed hawk. Uh, so the red-tailed hawk is he he can't take care of himself, so he's here as an educator now. A McKenzie was hit by a train, uh, injury to both of her eyes. So she can't see very well. Full grown barred owl who loves her jaw. Bobby is the little screech owl. So Bobby, apparently he imprinted on humans as a, as a small baby owl. Petrie, found by a land owner on Deep Draw Road. Petrie fell out of his nest too early. They were unable to get him back in the nest safely. He was still too small to survive on his own. 
they can't be returned because they, they think people are family. They teach people about owls. So that's very cool. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Let's go see some more stuff. I gotta tell you, Cumberland Mountain State Park has got a whole lot going for it. Just been kind of wandering around in white lightning and I have found tennis court, playground structure. Of course, that metal slide probably you could fry eggs on it right now. There's a bot volleyball and then there's a baseball backstop. There's a pavilion here for, for your group gatherings. And there's way more to stuff to see. So let's go see some more stuff. If you're traveling with little kids, Cumberland State Park in Tennessee would be, that'd be a good place for you, at least a waypoint, if not a, a couple day destination. There's another tennis court, swing sets, two sets of swing sets, playground, playground. Several miles of hiking trails. Let's go see if we can find some boats. Well, now, this is just too neat. Cumberland State Park has got a footbridge. I think that is a scooter-friendly trail. I'll have to, I'll have to break out a little red here. Here in a little bit, I'll break out a little red, and we'll go for a ride on that trail. But right now, They have John boats, paddle boats, maybe some kayaks. If, ah, look at there. I just had to turn around. Look how big this one is left. Look how big this dollar is. That's a pretty place. Let's go see what else we can find. So if you're visiting Cumberland Mountain State Park and you're hungry, they actually have the, the Homestead Harvest Restaurant with a patio to dine on. And so this park was also built by the Civilian Conservation Corp. They put up a, a monument to honor those all those young men that did all that hard work. And this is one of the buildings that they constructed. And there's the dance pavilion. Not as big as some of those we see in the Texas State Park System. Oh, they have a little museum. Go see some more stuff. So Cumberland State Park was a Corps of Engineer project, and 
the Homestead Tower was part of that CCC project. It's one of the largest New Deal substance homestead communities built. We have a museum in here, so let's go. Let's go do a little quick museum walkthrough. Is a ticket required? It is. And how much is a ticket? Six dollars. I guess I'll do a ticket. Now your ticket is also good for. Um, we have one of the homes that you can go through and tour as well. Oh, okay, cool. Top this way, and the stairs are here if you want to climb the tower. This great nation will enjoy there you go. Thank you. as it has enjoyed. Let the real times and the real prosper. Let the earth rest my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. As Americans gathered around their radios in 1933 to hear Franklin Roosevelt deliver his first inaugural address, the nation was mired in the depths of a vast economic depression. With almost one in four adults out of work, and even more underemployed, panic reached from coast to coast and a thousand points in between. To most, the prospects for survival seemed distant. Cumberland Mountain State Park was built by the CCC back in the day and they built this dam slash bridge. So of course I had to come, come check it out. Of course they, they, they don't make it real easy to check this out. Certainly not ADA accessible. Hello, hello, echo. We'll go down a little bit more. I want to see it from below. See, the, they've got the road to that building closed off, which is why I had to suffer through this. How about that? Is that cool or what? You, this is called the mill house. I don't know, maybe there used to be a, a sawmill or a grist mill or something there. Let's go see some more stuff. We saw the dam bridge. We saw the dam bridge. No, it's just a dam and a bridge. We saw the dam bridge from below. And here it is from above. Now that, that gives us a little indication as to how deep this little lake is. Now there's a I'll have a video coming out shortly. There's an ADA trail that runs all the way around to the boat dock area over there. That was a fun ride. I went both directions. So it should turn out to be a neat little virtual tour video. All right, let's go find some more stuff. So it seems that this is designed as a swim area. There's steps right there. Of course, the, there's so much moss in the water. I don't know that I'd want to go swim in that. I'm, I'm a clean water swimming kind of guy. Although I don't like to swim. I don't like cold water. Cold water hurts. Check out this. This is just such a beautiful little place. We're down below the CCC Pavilion and the, the restaurant, the Homestead Restaurant. It's kind of a, a rough trail outlined by big stone blocks. You know, as most of this park was built by the CCC, there were, there were not too many uh, ADA concerns. It's a goosey place, though. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Where are we? Cumberland Mountain State Park. 
the CCC acts. What? Can you believe this? <laughs> I wonder if there's a dial tone. Uh, no, no, no dial tone. The CCC actually built quite a few things out here. The swimming pool is one of those. But don't expect to go swimming here. It looks like it's it's shut down and been shut down for a while. Snack bar. It's actually a recreation hall. I don't think it's operational either. Let's board it up. So maybe they do family reunions in here. Anyway, it's closed down. But you can see some of the stonework the CCC did. All right, let's go see some more. Let's go see some more stuff. Cumberland Mountain State Park. We are done here. We have reached the end of our brief, all too brief, brief visit to the Cumberland Mountain State Park. Give you a little recap. This is, I really like this park. It, it's, it's very peaceful. Well, I say peaceful. There's, there's quite a bit of road noise because uh, we are right kind of on the edge of, of suburbia. But the park itself, stunning, stunning. Uh, there's just so much history here, especially if you're into the, the CCC, the, the era of the CCC, and are interested in all of the projects that they constructed. Uh, there's a lot of it here to explore. And I didn't, I just barely scratched the surface uh, because we're just here for the one night. But we're, we're done. I would recommend this as both a waypoint and a destination. If you got kids, there's there's lots for kids to do here. There's hiking trails, there's history to explore, there's wildlife to see. So this this is an excellent place to for an overnight as well as a destination. Cumberland Mountain State Park. I highly recommend it. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd appreciate you considering clicking on the subscribe button and remember to tap that bell as well. You don't want to miss another episode. You never know where the, the Dude RV crew is going to show up. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm most deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. That's why I get to go see places like this. I mean, look at this. What a great campsite. For my patrons, you guys rock. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now, you hear?